Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Monkey Butter with another course review from PGA Tour 2K23. Now the course I'm going to be playing today is called TQC Trinity Forest LiDAR and it's been designed by Robbie Spivy of Tournament Quality Courses and I believe that this one has just been accepted on TGC Tours. So many congratulations to Robbie for that. So I'm going to be playing off the, the blue tee at 7,241 yards and I've gone for the usual course conditions for first time playthroughs and I left the default time of day and green, sorry, default time of day and weather which are, we'll quickly have a look, clear and afternoon. So let's head off to that first tee and we'll see what this course has to offer. Okay, so par five to open the round. 552 yards. Safely on the fairway, that's a, a nice start. Okay, let's just play for the middle of the green here if we can get there. It's going to catch the upslope, I think, and just kill it. Yeah, just took all the sting out of it. Now, is that going to stay there or not? No. Okay, not too bad there. That's a poor chip. No, it's too high. What a shame. Yeah, it was the poor chip that cost me there. So just a par to start the round. Par three, second. Now, bunker doesn't really come into play, so don't need to worry about that one. Safely on, but a long way from the hole. It's going to be quick as well. It's a foot downhill. Okay, I'm going to guess this one. Well, those of you that watch my videos regularly, you'll know that normally on TGT tours, I would change to metric here and, and work out the drop in elevation, but. For the purposes of this, I will hazard a guess. Oh dear, that's a long way short.
Uh, that's a good recovery putt. That was just a save par. Three hundred and eighty three yards. I'm not sure I can carry that bunker. I'm gonna give it a go though. Oh no. A really poor swing. Got away with it. Just a hundred and five yards left. It's quite a nice distance for a pitch. Kick left. Oh, yes, it did. Needs to stop now, though. Just dropped in the left hand side. Let's have a quick look over the that area there, looks nice. Now then, 400 yard or thereabouts, par 4. Don't want to go right here, there's a severe slope. So we need to avoid that at all costs. Pretty straight. That's more like it. Back to back birdies. This is a really short par for 273 yards, slightly uphill. Very difficult green, as you can see. Slopes all the way around. It's almost like an upside down bowl. But it is a par four. Probably won't make it onto the green because of the slope, or will it? No, it's there. It's a good shot. Okay. Bit of a double breaker, this one. Starts off going to the left, and then it comes back to the right at the end. Try that. Well, I've hit it perfect. I haven't quite got the line right, which is a real shame. That would have been a super eagle. I think in hindsight, I could have aimed that one straight at the hole. It would have gone in.
Yeah, this is a fairly short par four as well, so a good drive here could set us up quite nicely. Okay, let's see if I can do a better chip than I did on my last attempt. Now, as you can see, just beyond the hole, it runs away very steeply. So if this goes past the hole, the danger is it's going to go off the green. So I can't afford to be too greedy. I'm on an upslope. ball is slightly below my feet as well. Big right to left slope on the green when I get there. Oh no, that's in trouble. Oh, it's stopped. That was not a good chip, and I was extremely lucky there not to roll off the green. That's a double breaker as well. Yeah, that's a good putt. I need to improve my chipping. It's not too good at the moment. Nice drive. So this is a par five, about 252 yards to go. Very difficult green. I would say if we're gonna miss the green, you wanna miss it just to the right hand side, really. If you go down to the left, that's gonna be an extremely difficult chip shot. Quite sure what club to hit here. Not much of a wind to help. I think I'm going to go with the three iron. I know it's going to be a little bit short, but I'm going to try, if I can, to keep it down that right hand side because. It might be an easier chip shot. That's looking pretty good. Just depends on the bounce. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. It's a par five. Hopefully I've left myself a fairly easy chip and putt. Although the way I'm chipping at the moment, nothing's easy. <laughs> so, let's see if I can put this one close. Now I've overhit it. Really struggling at the moment with my chipping. Phew, I'm putting okay, so that's good making up for some poor chips just 
admiring the uh, the stand on the right with the crowd and the is that a confectionery stand there I can see it's difficult to tell in the light now then wow look at that for a green if we can land the ball in that kind of I guess you call it a kind of a basin really because either side there and there it goes down towards the hole you don't want to go long though so it's 152 ever so slightly downhill so it's going to be approximately 149 okay I think I'll stick with the pitching wedge Yeah, happy with that. This looks quite straight. Yeah, good too. Okay. 446 just need to watch out for that little bunker there in the fairway now I've left myself quite a good line in from here really this hole you don't want to go down that left hand side if you go down the left hand side of the fairway you leave yourself a really difficult shot at the pin with it being on the left hand side like that so we've got 108 yards to go what pitch options do I have there's a lot of slope on this green Hmm, okay. I think what I'm going to try is a sand wedge with a normal shot, but I'm going to increase the loft because otherwise it's going to go long, far too long. Let's try about there. Now the ball's above my feet. Needs to get down. Pretty good, just a little long. It's a slow down turn. It's oh, what a putt! Well, after a shaky start on those first two holes, that was a cracking front nine. It's a really nice course as well. I'm not surprised it's been accepted for TGC tours. Now. It'd be great if I could carry that area of rough, but it's going to need an almighty hit. Well, I've given it 106%. It's looking good. Yeah, that's a great drive. Uh, with the amount of chips I've had, I should be quite good by now, but um, alas, that's not the case. Let's see if we can improve here.
that's slow. It's not too bad a result, though. Okay, we've got a par 5 coming up at 11. 530 yards. Tricky pin position, just at the bottom of that steep slope. It is a par 5 though, so I just need to leave myself in a position where I can hopefully two putt easily for birdie. 220 yards to go. Now I don't want to go left, if I leave myself anywhere around here I'm in serious trouble. Anywhere this side is going to be the favourable position to end up in. Ooh, that landed soft. Just caught that upslope. Took a few yards off it, unfortunately. Uh, this is a tricky one. Two putts, please. don't think that's quite hard enough. No, that's okay. I think I'm just going to aim for the middle of the green here, maybe right of centre even. Try and avoid going left. A bit short. Five inches downhill. Hold your line. Ooh, that was close. That was a great try. Very unlucky. This is a long par four. It's over 500 yards. I like that crowd stand on the right there. And the toilet facilities, very good. six iron I'm on an upslope so it's going to take some of the yardage off though yeah it's going to be short go go on get up there
It's not turning. Oh, I've had a few near misses. Oh, this is a monster of a par five. 618 yards, ever so slightly downhill, but big bunker in the fairway to avoid. Quite tight going down that right hand side, although that would be my preferred line. It would shorten the second shot a fraction, but I think because it's it's gonna be a three shotter anyway, I'm gonna Well actually now I've looked at that, that's a bit risky as well. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go down that left hand side. Keep this one out to the left, I think. Now that's going to roll down the slope, hopefully, not into the bunker. Now that's a good shot. Got 292 yards out of that three wood there. Pick up your divot. What? Blimey, if I did that at my local club, I'd be in trouble with a greenkeeper. <laughs> now then, 43 yards remaining. I think I'm going to go for the flop shot here. Now I'm on a down slope, so the ball's going to shoot forward, unfortunately. And that is a shame, but never mind. Yeah, it's gone long. Managed to stop it though, that's the main thing. Hopefully that's an uphill putt. Yes it is. Just a little bit of left to right break on it. Oh dear. Ah, oh, that was a poor putt. Okay. Well, that's a shame. I played the whole world up until that birdie putt and then made a mess of it. Now then. Okay, let's try and keep it down that right hand side if we can. Oh dear, that's in trouble. Oh, okay. I think I would have preferred to have been in the sand. I'm in heavy rough now, 66 to 75. This is another upside down bowl type green, so I'm just going to try if I can to get it in the middle of the green. Oh no, I hit the wrong club. Uh, it's not too bad. It's a bit short, but um, it's on the putting surface. So if I can knock this one close and tap it in for a par, I'll take that. Not a lot of movement here. I hope that hits the flag, because that's travelling. Yes! Oh, what a putt! Well, that makes up for the short one I missed on the previous hole.
So 99 to go. Let's put some spin on this. I could do with this landing and stopping very quickly. Or even coming back a little bit. Oh, it's short. Okay, no, that's okay. That's a good putt. Good birdie. Just two holes remaining. Got a tricky par three here. Severe slope. I've hit it fast. That's terrible. I was so worried about hitting that one slow and ending up out to the right that I've made a complete mess of it. Okay, this putt is... Well, what can I say? Extremely difficult. I'm not even sure. It might stay on the green. I've literally got to try and just get it over the brow of that hill and let gravity do its thing. So the first part of the putt that goes up here, I've got to make sure I don't leave it short. And this is where it's tricky. This is a scary putt. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. No, I haven't hit it hard enough. Oh, no. That was my fear. Okay. Don't make that mistake again. Get it over that bump and let it run down. Oh, what a shame. That's better. That's what I tried to do the first time, but made a right mess of it. Okay, let's see if we can roll this one. This is all about damage limitation now. Yeah, bogey. Poor tee shot cost me there. Right, the final hole, par four, and it's a long one, F over 500 yards. Sixty-five. Let's try the nine iron. Oh, it's going to need to go. Big bounce. 
it's safe. That's all we can say about that, really. Now then, this is makeable. Just a little downhill, not much. Misread. Well, that's a really nice course, nicely laid out um, to the standard that we've been seeing from um, from uh, Robbie over recent weeks and months. So another another well done, really really nice. So give that one a go. That's TQC Trinity Forest LIDAR. Um, and I think you'll really enjoy it. I certainly did. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button down below. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would really appreciate it. So take care, everyone. And I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.